What many now are perceiving to be a cut and mouse scam being played by the Dar Salaam authorities to hand over the most wanted Ugandan national rebel leader of the Allied Democratic Force, Jamel Mukulu, who was arrested in Tanzania three weeks ago, is becoming a hard nut to crack. Security experts in Uganda have since predicted legal franchise, saying that the handover process of Jamel Mukulu to the Ugandan government won't be a simple walkover, but are convinced that they will get the monkey off the back. Indeed, this seems to be the case with the trick games ranging from geosocial and political nature of the Tanzanian government, Uganda seems to fail out. But to the Ugandan police spokesperson, Fred Enanga, believes the Ugandan government will check up with its legal team to have a win-win situation. From the requesting country, Uganda, we first of all had to carry our international warrant of arrest to indicate to Tanzania that this man is, is wanted for uh, criminal cases. The United Nations Treaty on Extradition of Fugitives and Rebel Leaders arrested in different countries calls for close biological identification of the accused and so has to be the same case with Jamel Mukulu before he is repatriated back to his home country, Uganda, to battle charges related to war crimes and crimes against humanity. Clearly not that DNA blood sample tests, fingerprints, his waist has to be taken on him before the renegade is handed over back to Uganda. Enanga Haiba says this is not a scaring. He says they have flagged off a team from the Immigration Department, Government Analytical Laboratory, his other relatives and security operatives to have the test done. In our team we have uh, uh, directors from the police, Interpol and uh, counterterrorism. We have uh, a representative from the DPP. Uh, then we also have uh, uh, a, a senior immigration officer. By press time, the whole being allegations that, that Jamil bears Tanzanian citizenship and possessed more than two passports. This means chances of having him tried under the Ugandan law are slimy. If the U.S. has interest, they also need to present their case before, uh, before the High Court judge, but not just blocking the process. Uh, there is no doubt that he's, uh, he's not Jamel Mukulu. That one has already been 